Trotting Classic Field behind the gate, moving up. Far back to Million Dollar Buy. Here they come. They're off. There goes Hanko Angus out with Rama's Pleasure for the lead down toward the inside. I'm Damn Goog from the far outside. Approved action as they move into the first turn. Up to get the early lead now is Hanko Angus. Dropping right in is Rama's Pleasure. Approved action on the outside going up. I'm Damn Goog got away in fourth. Racing fifth is Magician. Followed by par one. Then it's play sack and catching the pack after the tardy beginning. Million dollar buy. They go up the back stretch and from the outside approved action gets the lead off stride. I'm Damn Goog. 28 and two fifths. The leader is approved action, Rajon Danio. Hanko Ingus got away in second, followed by Rama's Pleasure third. Magician trots in fourth, followed by par one, then comes Playsack. Uh, far, far back to Million Dollar Buy, and I'm Damn Goog. They move on the turn, and up on the outside now, here comes Rama's Pleasure. Rama's Pleasure from the outside is up to get a short lead. Approved action is back to second, getting underway, Magician. Hanko Angus back to fourth. Par one is still fifth, followed by Playsack. The distant trailers and out of it are Million Dollar Buy, and I'm Damn Goog, 58 for the half. Rama's Pleasure has Magician coming up to get the lead. Magician from the outside clears now. Rama's Pleasure back to second approved action. Is racing there. Third coming to the outside. Playsack is into fourth. Back to fifth there along the inside. The early leader, Hanko Angus. Par one tips to the outside. 126 and three fifths. They make their way to the back stretch. Magician has the lead. Playsack and John Campbell are up into second now. Rama's Pleasure is back to third. Trying to come to the outside approved action and it's par one. Hanko Angus dropping out of it. They go toward the end of the back stretch. It's Magician joined by Playsack. Two lanes. Rama's Pleasure is trotting in third followed by Approved Action. They go into the final turn now and they pass the mile marker in 155. Magician leads it by about a half. Playsack on the outside. Rama's Pleasure right there in third. Two lanes. Approved Action. No one else in it as they come toward the top of the stretch. It's Magician turning home on top by a length and a half. Magician and Dave Miller. Rama's Pleasure is back in the second. Playsack third, then it's approved action, but Magician is going to win it. Magician draws off to win by about three lanes. Magician and Dave Miller, Rama's Pleasure and Play Sack, 224 and three-fifths, another world record. Thanks again, Jack Gallagher. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, another appearance for, by Dave Miller in the winner's circle. As you can tell, Magician, a very high-strung trotter, and uh, we're like... Uh, to uh, let you know that Mike McCarthy, one of the leading perennial riders at Delaware Park in our winner's circle as well. Magician, the third leg of our four-pronged features and another world record. Uh, I guess you might as well stay around for some more. Uh, Dave, that's two in a row right now. Tell me a little about Magician. He is just a dominant trotter, a $2 million winner. Yes, he's a he's a very special horse to me. He uh, he's amazing. Now they say that trotters, uh, for the most part, get better with age, and he certainly seems to be improving as he gets a little bit older. Yeah, that's the case with him. He uh, uh, was a little uh, a little uh, immature when he first started racing, and uh, he's just gotten better and better over the years, and uh, he's really turned into a nice horse. Now, insofar as uh, magician and being a fractious horse, it looks like you have to be very careful with him. At times, he, he's gotten a lot better. Uh, he used to be uh, kind of tricky about, about the, the starting gate, uh, but he's gotten much better over the years, and uh, uh, he's just really turned into a nice horse. But I, I still take it careful with him, you know, just to make sure everything goes right. And I noticed that uh, he doesn't like uh, blankets on him either, so we didn't uh, put the uh, classic uh, championship blanket on him. Uh, I guess he has a right to have his own way. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's kind of he's an impatient horse and uh, don't like to spend much time in here. Now, insofar as soundness is concerned, has this been one of the problems that has uh, kept him from racing even more than he does? Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, knock on wood, he's been a, he's been a very sound horse. Uh, uh, the re Earl, he just kind of uh, picks his spots with him, and uh, he seems to be working real well with like that. Well, the Cruz family has certainly done a great job with uh, trotters, with horses over the years. Earl's uh, dad, a member of the Harness Racing Hall of Fame, they had Cash Minbar and that great trotters. Uh, I'm not sure how they would compare trotters from then to today, but there are very few trotters in North America or perhaps in the world that can compete with the uh, magician in the rare form that he's in today. 
I, I feel the same way. I, I think uh, I think he's, like I said, he's very special to me. Uh, I think he's one of the best ones. What is the one thing about him that you like the most beside the fact that he likes to put his nose in front of the wire? He, he just keeps going. Okay. Thank you very much, Dave Miller. Keep up the great work.